All right, man. Shout out to uh, Alex sent this to me, bro, earlier. Uh, sorry, I'm not just coming from the gym. But uh, yeah, Alex sent this to me, man. And uh, the Pistons could be adding Keith Bogans and Rashad Lewis to the coaching staff. Now, they was a couple former NBA players on the summer league staff, all right? Uh, Jason Maxfield was also on that staff, so I don't know if he just simply didn't, you know, do good enough where he wasn't interested or right now we're in the right place and time now. Um, it's just rumored. It's not, you know, a fact. It's just a report going around. So I want to make sure I put that disclaimer out there. But uh, also they could be using uh, Sammy Galfin, Galfin, um to the New Orleans Pelicans uh, suggest report. So it seems like one, at least one is going out and two is going in. So check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, that subscribe button, just the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications, we go live, or drop a video, and um, you know, I like it, you know, I think they got a nice mixture of, uh, they got a, just a, a great, I'm going to break down the roster, you know, when it's finally already kind of like finalized, you know, kind of like, you know, they going, you know, it don't have to be 15, but you know. You know, we're going to see what happened with Kim Walker and stuff and see if any trades happen. Um, but, um, excuse me. Um, but, yeah, man, I, I like adding a former player. I like the balance because you got Kelly Olenek, Alec Burke, Nerlis Noel, all all veterans. Rodney Magruder, veteran. You know, and they all can play. You know, um, Corey Joseph, veteran. You know, um. You know, I said Kelly Olenek. Shout out to Kelly Olenek for time and not seeing the pictures. I didn't want to share them, and, you know, it was supposed to be a people exclusive, and they flagged my shit. My channel got flagged for using, my other channel got flagged for using the thumbnail. Yeah, I got a strike for that. That might be the only time I got a strike on that channel. But I got strikes on this channel, but, uh, you know, I appealed them on the last day because I wasn't going to do it no more. It was a while, but then somebody told me that it's just be like the Packer fans trolling and shit. And, you know, I, I the last day I appealed them. They cleared them up right away. Instead of notifying me they was bullshit, they cleared them up right away. So, YouTube, you got to be on your P's and Q's. And, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you got a nice mix. You lose Jeremy Grant. You know, you gain Noel Burks. You still got Olenek. Um, still, Friday McGruder. Still keep Corey uh, Joseph. When you look at that potential start lineup, you know, Stewart, you know, potentially Stewart or Livers or, you know, Bay, uh, Bagley. Uh, K Cunningham, Jay Nivey, um, you know, whoever is going to be in there, they still very young, bro. So do you play the young guys or do you find a balance? Um, or just the best player going to play? So I wonder, you know, where that balance going to be because does it look like K, Ivy, Bay, Stewart, Dern, or, or Bagley? That's still a very young lineup. You got to understand Bagley ain't really found his role in this league yet. Isaiah Stewart still ain't found his role in this league yet. You know, Kay Cunningham, he's, you know, he found his role. But Bay and Ivy, obviously, obviously ain't played a lot. Or Durham, obviously, they ain't got a chance to play. They ain't found their role yet. So that's going to be the question. Do they balance out this starting lineup with some veterans? Or do you just say, man, you know, we just going to take the growing pains? But it's also going to help to have some guys who played at the highest level. Rashard Lewis, world champion. You know, um, there was some controversies in the league. I'm not going to get into that, but uh, shout out to LeBron wife, by the way. <laughs> but there was some controversies in the league. Um, won championships, shot the ball well. And, and, you know, the epitome of a, a stretch four. Uh, so, yeah, you can help Stewart and, and Livers and the rest of the guys out a lot. Um, then next year, you know, if, if you know, I'm going to get off topic. If Bay don't do what he's supposed to do, or Stewart and ba Bagley, whatever, don't do what they're supposed to do, they got an opportunity to ask some guys next year, like Christoph Przingis. You know, Kelly, I mean, uh, Kel, Kel, uh, Kelian Jesus. So, the roster, you know, next year it ain't really boom or bust. But, uh, you know, but we want to start seeing them take some type of shape next year. But they're in a great position, bro. But um, Keith Bogus played at a high level, solid player, good guard. Um, so, you know, you need them veteran guys that, that played as well and able to resonate with the younger guys. They need as much support staff, support, you know, around them guys. Dylan Casey, man, come on. 
he can't coach. They just straight up and down. At this point in his career, you know, he can't coach. He's supposed to be here to develop, and um, that ain't help, happened yet. Ain't nobody developed under him just yet. Cade going to do what he going to do. But Sadiq Bay and the rest of them dudes and uh, Sayako Duboye and, you know, whoever else, they, they simply ain't developed. You know, they simply ain't developed. So, so hopefully Rashard Lewis can bring perspective to the team. Keep Bogus bring some good perspective to the, to the team. Um, I know they could. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be interesting, man. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. And, um, you know, a little bit more player coaches are on the team, man. And it's just going to be about mentorship, guidance, the highs and lows next year. Because they got to understand, it's expectations on the Pistons. There are colossal expectations next year. And, you know, those expectations were starting to realize when they took the when they took the summer away from the Detroit Lions. You know? The Lions, you know, kind of took the play away because it's, you know, NFL offseason. It's the most popular time of the year, even more than the Super Bowl. Everybody team think they got a chance. But the Pistons, you know, it's a lot of expectations. And it's not a lot of roles that's been defined on this team. There's one role that's defined on this team, and that's K cutting in. In the starting lineup. That's it. So these dudes gonna go through a lot next year. And that's kind of in my mind why I kind of set the game, the wins and law, the wins are over and under for the wins should be around 30. In reality, it should be around 35. But the reason I said 30 and 30 is because I know it's going to be an adjustment period. But, you know, they, they were in some games last year just as the Lions were. The third quarter is where they lost a lot of games at. So, you know, you know, you got to understand this is an emotional roller coaster for guys. People don't understand you got a lot of time in the NBA. You wonder how Zion gained so much weight. They don't practice every day. They don't have shoot around every day. It's a lot of time. You know, it's a lot of time that those players have. You went from going to take classes and – and balance the social life to being on the road, going to the movies, getting something to eat. You know, you know, everybody ain't diligent enough to stay in the gym and, and keep their conditioning up and, and lift weights on their off days and study film on their off days. And that's what Rashard Lewis, Keith Bogans is, are there, is there for. And that's, what, that's why they are available. That's 100% why they avail, they're available on the staff to help the working habits, to help the mental aspect of it. So, but yeah, I, 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 you know, if it's, if it's true, I like let it pick up, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live drop video. Man, you want to support the channel? Cash okay, App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor. Uh, well, yeah, Spotify, excuse me. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. It's the first link in the description. Appreciate your love and support. One time for one time. Peace.